he was Gopa. Hans Gopa. He was SS. And he was not like the others. I saw him the night we arrived in Auschwitz. That's what I sent us first. He seemed kind, gentle. I remember that there were two boys, twins, and when the guards hurried the other children away, Gopa saved those twins. And I can recall thinking that they were lucky. But nobody was lucky in Auschwitz. I didn't know it then, but Dr. Gruber never saved a single soul. He would visit us regularly in the women's bags, bring us sweets, chocolates. The guards would never strike us when he was present. He wanted to help, he said. But he couldn't treat all the girls, he would say. So he left it a chance. And when I came back, if I came back, Something had changed. He had made them sick. Whatever he'd done to them. They'd be afraid to speak out. They'd be sworn to secrecy. It is the next stage of human evolution. You lost your mind. Did you do this? Why? I told you not to touch me. You don't have to pay me. I just have to get the money back. You're not going anywhere, sister. Now, pick those up and go lie on the bed.